Hey you guys. Um, most people kind of know my uh, anti-fluffy bunny sentiments pretty regularly, but uh, occasionally I let the internal fluffy bunny slip a little bit and I'm about to use the safety of, uh, of my favourite group on Facebook to flash you some full-blown fluffy bunny uh, in my life, which I don't really sort of do with too many people. So um, the article on the connection of soul groups for me is of particular interest and uh, particular relevance I guess in the last couple of years of my life and is very much relevant for, um, for a lot of the work that I do here. So I do have some personal experience around um, this specific subject and I found this article a few years ago uh, when it was most active in my life or more active than it is now and it really resonated with me even though the language didn't fully resonate but, um, but I really got it because it was describing kind of what was happening in my life at the time. So. Um, I'd like to kind of share with you, I guess, a bit of um, a bit of that experience, and uh, from what Daisy requested as well, maybe just a different articulation around this subject. Um, and thank you for your compliment that you appreciate the way that I communicate stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> from 2013, 2014, um, my soul group began to anchor in this space uh, full-time and the lot of us not just some of us and I came in first and I was the lead in that so what that kind of entailed was uh, one of us basically had to wake up here first <laughs> um, and then started to kind of walk around and getting everyone else into gear before we started uh, awakening and activating and anchoring in this space to be able to work cohesively across multiple spaces, including this one. So that was my job, um, and it was my job first. And that story could go on for hours and hours. But in a nutshell, um, I had an experience where I effectively woke up to 50-something uh, crew members all kind of cheering and applauding going he's awake he's awake um i'm not joking it was fucking bizarre and it wasn't too far off that and i looked down and i'm kind of wearing a uniform um and there's stripes and symbols on my arms you know and i'm looking around and there's 50 something dudes all going right he's awake now what um and i'm like fuck it what <laughs> what are you even talking about um, because I recognised them as soul crew um, and soul group, but I didn't realise uh, exactly what, I guess, my role was within that. Because when you're first, by virtue of being first at something, you have no reference. <laughs> and so, um, kind of working a little bit as guided as much as I could be, but largely blindly. So, the anchoring of my soul group here... Um, enabled all 50 something of us to be able to function actively in this space whether we were physically incarnate here or not and to be able to work as a single unit that would also encompass this space so at some point um, probably in late 14 maybe early 15 my entire soul group uh, anchored, awakened and activated within this space and became a cohesive cell and a cohesive unit across multiple dimensions including this and others but, but others including this one as well. And what that meant was um, it's like individuals in a soul group finding each other, okay? So you've got one soul group and then it breaks down to the individuals within that and then those individuals find each other and eventually realise they are a collective. Well, it works on a higher band as well and continues to go up where then individual cells and individual soul groups will connect and merge and find each other as well. And I don't know if all cells do that um, or if only very few do or if all of them do it but only some cells are conscious of doing it and do it on purpose. I don't know. Um, but I was very much aware the moment I... I guess came to and awoke into or really what I would call captaincy uh, with crew that I became aware of other captains and other crews in this space as well and I can tell you that there are many um, ships, many crews, uh, 
in the sense of captain and crew, and that is the right terminology, if you can feel into that. There are many uh, fleets and ships, captains and crews, active in this space on this planet at this time for various things. Um, and lots of us are performing various missions together and for sheer uh, numbers and firepower alone for putting the right ingredients together, if you like, to form the perfect cake. Um, there are individual soul groups, um, obviously comprised of individual soul individuals, um, individual soul groups with very specific characteristics and qualities and alchemical functions that when you then mix with other soul groups, um, various things can happen and various activities and functions can be performed. So that has been quite an active part of my life for the last three years or so. Um, and it's only really one of many functions in my life. And it's sort of in the background a little bit at this point in my life right here and now. But it has been very prominent up until maybe only a year ago. And it's always around. Um, and it's always something that I am working on. Um, so I guess just as a personal way to... to comment on this article and in general um, Aeon Soul Space uh, as we've discussed in the past is effectively a constructed platform based on a frequency ground which is of course the internet it's electronic it's not physical and it spans the entire planet and potentially further that is the beauty of electronic frequency that our group as a platform based in electronic and multi-dimensional space is a platform for multiple soul groups to be able to connect individuals and entire cells and the space is large enough, deep enough, robust enough and well equipped enough with resources for multiple soul groups to be able to play within this constructed energetic space and to work and play and perform function and do whatever, you know, whatever it is we're doing. Um, I imagine that would make a little bit of sense. Um, if there's anything more that I can kind of comment about that, I would be very happy to do so. Um, but I don't sort of tell too many people this, um, this part of my life because doesn't matter <laughs> um, you just get on with your job you know <laughs> at some point the, um, the the shock of getting to know what your role is uh, kind of subsides and then the excitement and the pride and the desire to kind of tell people about it um, at some point subsides and you just get the fuck on with it so that's sort of where I am at the moment um, and most of my work is a little bit like that so some people aren't always aware of what I do because I just I don't even think to talk about it <laughs> and this is stuff that's very active in my life but I just don't really think to talk about it so um, my crew are all connected energetically to Aeon Soul Space um, some of us are physically and actively present right now most of my mob are not um, we have probably a 65-70% ratio in terms of incarnated physically versus not here so um, yeah, so a whole bunch of us are elsewhere, but we are all connected um, via that synchronicity and that cell synchronicity. But again, the point is, as we've talked about in the past, most of the folks um, within Aeon Soul Group are from other soul groups and outside of Aeon Soul, outside of my soul group. And so you guys would be finding already um, deep synchronicities and connections with others in this space because it's not like I think we've got about 180 members or something at the moment it's not like we're talking about representatives from 180 different soul groups um, I, I don't have a number for you but I can tell you that there will be less than that which means is that many of you are related at soul level um, and many of you will share the same soul group and my function is to assist you uh, by revealing those connections for you at your time of readiness to find each other um, and not only to find each other but to recognize each other when you find each other to know what you're looking at so that's the basis of this space so um, that's a bit of a personal story in terms of working across multiple soul groups because that is a more advanced level of just finding your own soul group because once you've all found each other then what and there absolutely is a then what 
and once you start working at multiple cell level or cellular level there are uh, further advanced functions after that as well but I mean that's not entirely relevant for this space um, it's more just interesting to know how we work with others in other cells and practically speaking Aeon Soul as a Facebook group um, is a very practical immediate function uh, to serve and as a result of multiple soul groups coming together um, within uh, a common need I guess if you like so I hope that's given you a bit of info um, ask away and this topic's really interesting isn't it